Everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Oblivion. Uh, we're here. So it's been about uh, two full months since I actually played Oblivion. For whatever reason, I was possessed of the idea to just record like way, way in advance. And I did. And then I didn't go back to that for like a while. So, um... Let's remind myself here. Wads, yep. I assume that's click. Left alt. Oh boy. Oh boy. Journal's tab, though. Oh, we need a face covering helmet real bad. <clears throat> Can I put this on? Funny. It's like, no, bro, you're just not worthy. Okay, take the Amulet of Kings to Joffrey. Is it just pure coincidence that this and Game of Thrones both have center point characters who are named Joffrey? I'm the shepherd here. If he's not sleeping or eating, he'll be fussing with his books, I reckon, over in the Priory House. Good day. Bye. I just need to remember how this works. Hey, come on now. Hey, come. Hey, come on now. There's no need. By the hey, my blitz go increased. You should have like retaliated or something by now, right? Don't worry, guys. He's unconscious. By the gods, there's a psychopath on the loose. Luckily, your blood just hopped back into your body. Did I really not get a bounty for that? I don't know where I would find out if I got a bounty, but... I guess that's how they must get around, like, Greetings, killing guys. Good to see you. Have you ever been interested in joining the Mages Guild? I never really thought about it. They just oh, is this one of those like world-famous sort of Oblivion uh, uh, conversations? I've heard others say the same. Have you heard any word about the other provinces? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of Imperial goods in the land of the Altmer. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. Good day. Take care. Yeah, also famously, uh, those are like semi randomly generated. Yes. I need He's Joffrey. Upstairs. All right. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? I was there, bro. You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. I like how his Let eyes twitch a little bit to the side. He's like, hmm. Oh. By the Nine. This is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? I'll tell you, bro. As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Cool. Only the strain. I'm gonna turn him down a little bit. The amulet of kings. Nice mouth. I know who this is. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of oblivion. Okay. But the mortal Oops. world is protected from the daedra of oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. How can they threaten us, then? Only the emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. Hmm. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. St. Alicia herself received it from the gods. Oh, I know her. It is a holy I mean, relic of, of great I've never power. met her. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the it's One. It's so in the interesting. This is something that I, I didn't really talk With about the emperor in dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires but in the temple But it's so interesting that, like... For the first time in centuries. 
the emperors are all like dragonborns dragon and they're all like the dragon blood and they have this whole like dragon worship thing and like wow the dragons the fucking heralds of akatosh and shit and like the dragons are extinct bro and like it's so interesting and maybe intentionally so that like this whole mythology and and importance is set up around the emperors being dragons and there are no dragons to compare them to I am one of the few who know of his existence. Oh. Many years ago, well, I served me. as captain of Uriel's bodyguard. I guess that's why we're talking to you, huh? One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel had just given Uriel birth to him. told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. By the way, if his From time bald... to time, he would ask about the child. Actually, they didn't progress. make him bald in this game. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name Where can is I Martin. find him? He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. I love You must go to Kvach KV. and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if it's there's a, anything um, you need. I think it's My a resources Hebrew here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. Kv uh, One of the youngest. I am glad to hear that he survived. Okay. Waste no I'm all caught up, honestly. Must find Martin before the enemy. Like, I know almost all of these from Morrowind. Like, I know what all the dangers are. Oh, yeah, Morndus. Uh, yeah, I know what all the dangers are. I know what the, uh,. The blades are. I've been a blade, for God's sakes, you know? I was in charge of the blades in Morrowind, actually. Probably not, but... Actually, I don't remember if I was in the LP. Also, I know that, like, they don't technically practice the Morrowind way of getting a promotion, but that is how I became leader of the blades in one of my playthroughs of Morrowind. The Morrowind style of promotion. The Dunmer, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, I guess we're just walking then. Am I following this the right thing? Camp Ellis. Kvatch. Yeah, sure am. Tiger Lily. Viper's Bug Loss. Boo Gloss, maybe? Because Gloss is a thing. But Boo isn't. And Bug and Loss are also both things. Hmm. But yeah, that's something that is, like, interesting and highlighted. Um, I recently watched The Last Unicorn with my friends. Very good movie. Highly recommend it. This is probably going to get me killed, right? Wendir. It's probably something that like a million other people have done, you know? Like I'm just thinking about the enormity of the of the I'm thinking about the enormity of like, oh, I'm just going to start a moral and or a, a, an oblivion LP blind in the current year, no less. And like, boy, that's a, that's a, that's a big, that's a big up. That's a big task. Leaves a lot ahead of me, you know? I'm not as, like, compass-hungry as I feel like I am in Skyrim. 
Um, I think part of that is the way that like I open the menu and I leave it on what I need it on and then I just open it to that every time and that's useful. And so I can just be like, where am I going? Check the map. There's where I'm going. That's convenient. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, that works. I like that. No complaints here. Because um, the default menu in Skyrim, recall, opens you to that, like, like you hit the pause button and it opens you to that cross. Uh, and then from there, you go to your level ups, you go to the, your inventory, you go to your magic. Rock bottom caverns. Uh, you go to your inventory, magic, uh, level ups, or map. Which are right, left, up, and down, respectively, I believe. Sorry, my big-ass light is fucking with my eyes. Pardonnez-moi. Um, and, like, that's fine. I, I'm not somebody who hates the, um... Hmm. I'm not somebody who particularly hates the Skyrim uh, UI. I know that almost everyone who plays it, like, literally cannot stand playing with that Sky UI. Oh. And I imagine because this is an older RPG, this means more. That's a good looking shot of the moon. Masser, I think. And that's Secunda. What's going on over here? Um, but yeah, I don't hate the uh, Skyrim map, but there was something that I would often do in Skyrim. Um, we managed to get a copy of Skyrim for the Xbox 360, and in the game's disc was one of the paper maps, which was cool because we got it secondhand, and that's, you know, feelies like that aren't a guarantee. Oh, we got a hunter, a poacher, or something. You're pathetic. Dunmer, by the looks. Be gone, stranger. A good man who honors the nine. Be seeing you. Anyway. Hold on, I'm trying to think when nothing's happening. Anyway, yeah, we got a feely in the uh in the thing where you managed to get a copy of the paper Skyrim map, and it was so cool that my dad decided to frame it. And we left it in the uh in the studio, which is the room that I don't know if anyone else calls their like that room the studio. Like I know that some people call it a den. Skywolf <laughs> Oh, and I've contracted Hell Joint. I imagine that again, because this is an older RPG, like, blessings are going to be way more potent. No nul... No galo? No nungalo. I gotta say, almost all of these like catacombs look the same. I don't know what that is, but I'm honestly just gonna back right up. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, so we would have this paper map that would just be like in front of us, in the room with us while we were playing Skyrim, me, my dad, and my sister. And any time that we wanted to go somewhere, we would refer to that map. Not the in-game one. Because that let you see the whole thing. Uh, and that was cool and fun. I liked it a lot. Because um, I'll be honest, the more one map leaves a little bit to be desired. This gives me a closer approximation to what I would want out of that, though. Oh boy, we got more wolfies. A strange door. This is probably a DLC thing, right? Why they gotta make sad pop noise? All 
Alright, where's the schmuck? I killed a man, give me my prize. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Broch camp. Oh yeah, I was talking about the last unicorn. Um, yeah, we watched the last unicorn and like, boy, that movie's great because it's way too heavy for any kid to really fully comprehend, but they'll still think about it for the rest of their lives. It's one of those great fun things that you should definitely show to a child, you know. Like, I showed my little brother Spider-Verse with full knowledge that Peter Parker fucking dies in that movie. Iron Maze. Looks far more like an axe. Um, because I was like... Ooh. Look, boys gotta learn, you know? Sometimes the heroes die, and you can tell a better story for it. Five gold for two pounds... It's not that worthwhile. Tear us. Okay, cool. Uh, but the last unicorn has a lot of interesting themes of like unicorn genocide and like what happens when a cool magical creature is like just gone from the world. Uh, it also features Mr. Uh, Mr. House from New Vegas as a skeleton. And he fucking... He does not He's a fantastic job as that skeleton. Uh, Rene Oborginoy, I believe the the man's name is the actor. You're probably supposed to pronounce it more French, but he's a rather Americanized actor. Especially because now his most famous role is being, you know, Mr. House from New Vegas. But yeah, Rene uh, Oborginoy, I th I think is the pronunciation pardon my accent i have a horrible bastardization of the french language i mean it's th it's the french language it's a horrible bastardization of language to begin with but i have a weird approximation of it because i either deal with like quebecois more or like nolan's french way more than i deal with like european french all right Kvatch is in sight, I think. I don't have my glasses on. Um, wow. Good popping. Really should, though. It's not really so much as uh, of sad dog noise as it is like the sound your heelys make, you know? Eat, er, eat. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff. Like the movie is rather most famous for its like themes of memory and and immortality interplaying with memory. And like, I'll be immortal because people remember me. Um, for good or for ill. Ooh, skeletons. <laughs> Gotta remember that that's a button now. Oh. Oh. All right, not crazy. Bone meal, nice. But yeah, I do also like the like distinct absence of such a mythologically important like creature in the world. Ow. And like that's what Elder Scrolls oh. feels like to me for so much of it. Okay. 
How do I? Here we go. Patch myself up. Just a tear. Uh, but yeah, it's a very interesting concept to like separate, because like Talos is like a dragonborn. That's what allowed him to become a god. Like when people worship Talos as Talos, they're mostly thinking of him as this like deistic, like user of the thum and like dragon in man's clothes. Um, and in here, like in Oblivion, you can see that some of the art depicts. Uh, Akatosh as being man-headed and also dragon-headed. He has both, and like both, Ow. both aspects are very important to, you know, the god and his, and his worshippers. And the fact that like we as as people living in this empire of dragonborns are so completely cut off from dragons and like yeah they're dragonborn but we have nothing to compare them to because dragons are all gone and that's really interesting and like i know dernavir is still alive and parthenax is hanging out spoilers um who's the other guy numenex there's there's a dude who shows up in the main story of skyrim who has just been hanging out since the end of the last dragon war Ooh, it's raining. Nice. I want to say Numenex, but I don't think that's right. But yeah, there's just a dude who's been ha hanging out since the, uh, since the end of the last Dragon War. Like, being immortal and just, you know, fucking off. And he shows up to meet and fight the Dragonborn because, like, hey, gotta do that. But yeah, and then, like, the fact that uh, dragons do come back in Skyrim, like, on the one hand, you might think of it as, like, a almost like a raiding stunt, you know? Like, how if you if it's Sweeps Week, if, if it's a, 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 a part of the year where a lot of people are watching TV, a TV show will do something brave, you know? Like, they'll have a kiss or a divorce or a death or a birth or a marriage or something like that. Because, like, hey, people are watching. We got to get them interested. We got to make it worthwhile. We got to do something big. Um, and like, hey, we got to make Elder Scrolls V even bigger -er and cooler. -er. What do we do to make it stand out more than the other games? It's like, well, what if you're a fucking dragon? And, you know, that'll work. What is that? Is that just, is the branch on fire a little bit? There's another one. This tree's burned as well. Unless it's a texture thing. No, that's definitely on fire. Oh, God. What the? Is that the Eye of Sauron? <laughs> oh, I found a gate to oblivion. Holy shit. It's like for real in here. You're just warming up. You wow. I guess that's why it's called the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion and not the Elder Scrolls IV Cyrodiil. Can someone catch me up, please? Because, like, what the fuck? Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. What happened here? We lost the damn city. That's what happened. The whole thing, huh? It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel. But others were just run down in the streets. Gnarly. The Count and his men are still holed up in the castle. And now we can't even get back into the city to help them. But that damned Oblivion gate blocking the way. What will you do now? The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground. That's what. 
If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could march right... I have to try and protect the few civilians that are left. It's all I can do now. You want to help? You're kidding, right? I'm a protagonist, bro. If I got chimp. serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Word. Are you sure? I'll do what I can. I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible, because the enemy closed the ones they opened during the initial attack. This is something the Argonians did the rather famously. The ground where they were. When uh, uh, right Oblivion... Right in the I, I forget who it I was. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. Maybe more like Ball? If you can get in there, find but out anyway, he, I mean, was If they're alive, help them finish anyway, the job. Anyway, he attempted to invade Black Marsh, the Argonian homeland, and the Argonians just counter-invaded, the like they just ran in through the luck. gates. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. Good luck. It's a brave thing you're doing. Ooh, more arrows. Nice. Marin's take on, in case you needed a little reminder. Word. Oh, I can just go back out, too. The Gold Coast. Charred body. Heads on pikes. Classic. Ooh, it's for real in here. Stunted scamp. I remember you guys. Scamps. Am I being cursed here? Yeah, I think that must be them hitting me. They're purpleizing me. Do you want to talk or... Okay, well, bye. So I wonder if this is like the, the recyclable mechanic this time around. Because like, wow. Thank the nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others. Elin Devonius. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped, and picked off. I managed hmm. to escape, but the others are strewn across that bridge. I'm get. The captain is all right. Cool. Good luck. Uh, yeah. Wow. We're just in Mordor, huh? Like, about as straight up and down Mordor as you can get. Harada. Now I can develop Tekken. Um, wow. I need to finish my train of thought about... I, I always do this when I'm playing RPGs. Uh, Lava Corpse Man. Yeah, figured. Um, yeah, it's very interesting that uh, you would have, like... Because, like, every single emperor and, like, imperial thing in this game is built around the concept of a dragon. And yet we've been cut off from dragons. Um, again, a similar thing does happen in Game of Thrones, but, like... The plot of Game of Thrones is at least partially built around, hey, dragons are back. And, like, it's so interesting that, like, dragons are only back in Skyrim... Which is the absolute nadir of the Elder Scrolls. Like, I know that the Emperor dies in this game. But that starts a decay that goes on for another 200 years. Did he lead that shot? God damn. This isn't going that well. Maybe if I get a better arrow up. Marginally better. I think I can juke him too. Okay, 
now I'm out. Oh, I should get this going. This guy's riddled with arrows. Shit, he got me for real. But conceptually, it is interesting that, like, the whole thing is built on the dragons, though. And then we ain't got no dragons. So can I still block with this? Okay, not good, but I can. Can I wait here? Enemies be nearby. But yeah, so you can like there's there's the mechanic of the dragons in in Skyrim. Where like the dragons being a thing that exists means that like you know, you can just put a dragon fight in anywhere. And, like, dragons are now just a cool thing that you can put anywhere. Damn, my dark elf. <laughs> this guy's a fucking boss. What's your deal, stunted scamp? Am I poisoned? I feel like my health is going down. Damn. Oh, I can wait here. Smarter. Hey, it's day outside. Which way? Oops. Do, 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 do. Let's save here, huh? It said a gate to oblivion. And like this is this is clearly a tutorial thing. I can only imagine that there's going to be like a million gates to oblivion in this game, you know. I played enough RPGs. I know generally how this is probably going to be expected to work. Am I hitting this guy or is my arc off? Oop, led me again. Of magic, huh? You know, I still think it's a little silly about how, like, Elder Scrolls just uses magicka <coughs> instead of just magic. <coughs> wow, I got comboed. Uh, I'm gonna cut this episode, and I guess I'll probably come back in a bit. Um, because, like, this is getting embarrassing. <laughs> uh, and I've run out of topics, but until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Oblivion. Um, one month, like two months later. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.